Hello everybody and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. We are here still within the Crimson Court. We are on an adventure to see what we can do with the Baron. We've made it up to the first croc. Apparently there's about two crocs that you have to fight throughout this dungeon. So we'll have to see how that goes. But this should mean that we're at least on the right path. And so far this is actually going pretty well. Um, we have been doing really, really good with uh, Victoria's damage. Um, Lucas and his... Um, ability to heal and stress heal has been invaluable especially with this new trinket we got um and then on top of that uh we've been getting great stress heals at amaris and the damage and debuffs we've been getting with linus have been absolutely fantastic so we'll keep pushing forward one thing that i'm a little upset about is i'm trying to do this in one go but that does mean we're probably gonna have to let go quite a lot of loot because we're gonna come across stuff that we just simply can't take um but I am willing to throw away some money in order to take some more heirlooms and things like that. So if we find, like, an obscene amount of more heirlooms, then I probably will um, just get rid of some of our money, like the citrine. Although citrine's valuable, I'd rather have the ability to carry some more other things. We are running uh, slightly low on things such as torches, um, but we should be okay for the most part. So let's keep heading on. Uh, we've got plenty of food and all that sort of stuff. One thing that I haven't actually checked on is what sort of camping skills we can take advantage of while we're out here um delays curse craving immune to death by crimson uh, curse that's pretty cool um unfortunately we do have some really good stuff here that we don't have unlocked it would have been nice to um to get some of these ready uh, but we have some of the good ones though um i think some of these could be really really good uh, I don't actually know. Do we have a prevents nighttime ambush? We have one that we don't actually have unlocked, which is a little bit of a shame. Uh, so I'm hoping one of these guys has it. Not looking good, is it? Unfortunately, that means we don't have a prevent nighttime ambush, which is pretty bad. Pretty bad. We'll have to see how that uh, how that ends up panning out. Either way, we'll move forward here. We've got to do quite a bit of healing and stress healing in whatever next fight that we get. So that's going to kind of be our next goal. That's a long hallway. We're probably going to be a fight or two along here. But it's interesting to have a, a sort of double length episode that could even go triple length. Um, I don't want to use too many shovels here. But at the same time, we do have six. So we should be okay. And I'm doing this because we could end up lighting firewood. Uh, sorry, finding firewood. Uh, so, I'm going to get rid of... I'm going to get rid of the citrine for more crests. Because we've been finding a lot of those. And we've already got 100 stack. The more of them we can get, the better. Even if we don't particularly need the, cit uh, the crests itself. We can trade them around and get uh, more of other things. So I think that works out. He's gone into craving, and apparently it's only when they get to the next level that we need to worry. Oh god, this is a hard battle. This is a really hard battle. Um, I'm going to activate repose here. Yeah, this is this is a tough fight. These guys have high speed as well. Um, luckily, Linus can help us out a lot on these dudes. Um, I think we want to... Okay, let's just go with this first. Let's set up a lot of reposts here. I think that's going to be really, really valuable for us. Um, and... Hmm... Let's have a little look see here. Yeah, let's let's lower his prop. And we'll try and take out one of them a little earlier than, than the rest. We'll get all our posts going though, get everyone healed up pretty high up there. Uh, the only thing I'm worried about with, with this battle, really, is the fact that some of our people do have lower maximum HPs. We have 52 here. Well, we have 32 here, and Linus especially has less than 30, so that's a real a real issue. Also, these enemies just they just hurt a lot. That's a lot of bleed there. Hopefully, we can just heal that off rather than using a bandage. Uh, but we'll have to see. Okay, pulling pulling Linus to the front isn't great. Um, so, yeah, what we're going to do here is hopefully cure that bleed off. Yes, that cured it off. Nice one. Um, and then we're going to need some bigger heals for Amaris here. You're going to take that one out. Unfortunately, that's not going to get the kill. Um, to finish you off, you're almost dead, so we'll kill you. And, unfortunately, this isn't going to work. Uh, this is bad. This is bad. Because the thing is, if I move you, I'm, I'm just going to pass turn, suffer the stress. Because if we move you, that means that Lucas can't actually do anything next turn. Because he can't do anything from spot four. I'd rather not have two turns where people can't do anything. It makes no sense. This is pretty bad, though. This this is a, this is a really hard fight. And we're, we're taking a hefty amount of damage. So we, we've really got to be careful. Hence why I kept Lucas in that spot so that you can heal. I know that the, this technically means we're down one healer right now. Okay, that was good. We need a crit from from uh, our lady here. 
Victoria, unfortunately, didn't get it. Okay, that's another one taken out. Okay, this is much better. Uh, no repose, unfortunately, here. This is this is a really a really bad fight. Yeah, I have to pass turn again, dude. He set us up in a really bad position here. Uh, I am gonna bandage this. And okay, cures bleed. Oh, I should have read that before. Nine percent versus bleeding. Nine percent damage attack is below thirty percent HP. Heal four plus four versus bleeding or on monster kill. So. I just want to check this. Okay, we got a crit there. That was good. That was a good amount of healing. That's kind of what I was hoping for. Okay, everyone get a bit more healing. And then you're dead. Okay, that, that was a little scary, but it ended up working out. When they move us around, that's really where we start to be a bit more fearful. I, I kind of want to take some busts, but I, I don't know what I want to get rid of for busts. Honestly, I know that all of this stuff is pretty useful. As much as I don't think the um, the Shameful Shroud is actually that good for us, because we don't really we have better trinkets for our uh, Abomination, I do want to keep it. I think keeping um, the Crimson Court trinkets is a good idea, so let's, let's get rid of the busts for now. Right, let's uh, feed you some blood. It's actually perfect that he goes into Bloodlust and gets that extra damage because it really works out for us. Okay, we do have this guy. This guy wants blood. Unfortunately, our blood is too valuable right now. Uh, we really need to find more blood, actually. We're, we're going to be low in a moment. Hopefully, we'll get it as some, uh, some combat rewards here. Let's just take one of you out straight away. We can guarantee a kill on one of you, so we'll go for that. Oh, nice dodge. Um, I'm going to keep on just going for the heals here. I know that we're, we're stressed out quite badly, but I still think this works out a little better. So we've got a lot of dodge here. So what I think we'll do is we'll lower your dodge quite a lot and activate repost. Manage your manners. I'm not sure what that does for us here. Oh, it just marks us. Okay. Um, let's go for a big heal here. We did get blighted and bleed, which is unfortunate. I was really hoping we wouldn't with that resist that we've got. It's okay. Uh, stun there is really bad. That, that, that's going to lower our damage. But th these two are fair. The backs so wouldn't be able to do too much with her anyways. Taking the thirst. Okay, you're craving now. So you need to take some blood. Okay, nice. Uh, right. We're going to do this again. This is... It's a little sticky. Oh, nice. Crit is going to be a heal as well. Awesome. 12 heal. Okay, that, that makes me feel much, much better. I really want to spend some time with Linus, and uh, sorry, with uh, Lucas, getting off some of that stress, but we're just not getting the opportunity right now. There's a finish there. Because we're, we're, we're all getting a little high in stress here. Um, hmm. I think we just go for that and get, get everyone healed up a bit, don't we? Then, uh, then Lucas can do a bit of stress healing, which I think is very necessary. Nice hit. Nice bleed. Okay, he refused. That's... Okay, I was going to say that's okay, but he's actually the most stressed, so it's kind of annoying that he refused. But everyone's stress is a lot better now. In one battle, we, we took on a lot there. Sorry, Bust. I really do want to take him, but I just... I can't... I can't think of a slot where we can give up. I suppose Anti-Venom hasn't really come into use at all yet, so we could maybe get rid of the Anti-Venom. Uh, but at the same time, what if we come across an enemy that we haven't seen yet that that, that uses that? That'd be a tragedy, so I really don't want to do that. Uh, move to this room. Locked room. Okay, so that's a locked room. We don't have any keys for that. Um, so we, we want to go around that, ideally. So let's, let's do that. Let's go up this way. Remember, if we're going to use a Curio for any reason... We should do it with this guy, unless it's one of these that just cures their uh, stress. Nice big stress heal there uh, with with Lucas, just so we can get extra stuff. Come on, give us give us more firewood. Okay, no firewood. Oh god, we're getting so many busts. I'm I'm really regretting not taking those, but at the same time, I don't know. I don't think there's much better way for us to do it. Right, we're trying to go around this locked gate. Is everyone in the right position? Yes, they are. Another one of these guys. We really need some more blood. It'd be great to find a little bit more, but we're just not finding any at the moment. Okay, we definitely want to use that. I don't know what this is going to do for us here. Uh, is this a stress heal as well? Let's go for that then. Yeah, big stress heal there. Great. I hate the way it moves the map to the center of the map. I don't want to be in the center of the map. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, another fight here. 
I really want to get monster surprised, yes, like that, because that gives us the opportunity to do big heals and stress heals before anything bad happens, really. We'll take out you because it's a guaranteed kill, and we even get healing there that we didn't need, but oh well. Um, I feel like I could have definitely trinketed better for this uh, for this situation, having known what I'd be coming up against. There's definitely a few trinkets like um, our eagle eyes talisman that isn't really doing too much. Uh, we'll get that off of you. I'm gonna lower that dodge. Hey, okay, everyone's everyone's on good healing now. We're gonna do a big heal for uh, Amaris as well next turn if we get the opportunity. Careless Whisper? I've not seen that before. Is that gonna be horror? Yes, it is. Okay, horror's not all too bad. We can we can lower stress enough that that's not a problem. Um, that's what we'll do. Right, so we'll do this. Make sure everyone's stress is low enough that the horror doesn't really take on too much of an effect. With that lower dodge, we can easily swipe with Victoria here, and this should finish you off. Near to, not quite. And then Amorous here can do, um... Can do this self-heal. This is something that I should be doing a little more, to be honest. Big bleed, but it's a big team heal and a big stress relief. It can only, you can only use it once per battle, though. But I really should be doing that a little more often. It's gonna, it's gonna be a big, big heal plus stress heal for everyone. That should kind of be my sort of... Last, last standing heal. Okay. I want to get one more stress healing, if possible. Nice. This effectively means that we're not going to take hardly any stress from that air. Uh... Oh, and there's a big crit as well. Very nice. That horror is really not going to do all too much to us. There you go. There's a little, more, bit, a little bit more blood. The fact that we're finding anti-venom as well makes me think that it's going to be useful for the boss or, or something similar. A few more blood suckers here. Surprised and again is really helping out. Um... We want to be trying... Oh, that's an unfortunate miss. We want to be trying to get kills as soon as possible here. So that's what I'm going to go for. I'm going to go for all of the... Um, all of the AoE attacks that we have. Which is only a few, but... It's still helpful nonetheless. So we'll go with that. Unfortunately, no kill. But we did get close on two of them. Very close, in fact. Just, I want to kill these guys because they cause a lot of stress. And also, they have the ability to give us the curse pretty easily with the first... And it heals himself up as well, so it does pr prolong the fight. We really... just about I was just about to say, we really don't want anyone else getting the Crimson Curse. Simply because we don't have enough blood to sustain that. But it happened. We're, what we're going to have to do, if we end up getting to the point where we've got no blood left, I think we have to leave. I think we, we're going to have to retreat, even with the firewood that we currently have. Um, and we're probably going to get nighttime ambushed anyway, so the, the firewood isn't super valuable. Okay, you should die to bleed. Oh, you're 2 HP off. Okay. Nice, that repost kills you. Good, good. Okay, that is, that is what we needed. Right, now, I need that blood because we've got three people. So I think... As much as I hate it, I think we have to get rid of the Shameful Shroud. It probably sells for quite a lot, but we we really need the blood now. Now that we've got three people that are going to be uh, uh, craving quite often. We really, really need that. Uh, we've got Stress Relief here. We don't need that. Okay, good. But yeah, we, we, need, we need as much blood as possible. Hit on a trap there. A little bit of bleed. Not a problem. Not a problem. Our AoE heals are strong. Um, again, we'll go for a torch on this. Wealth beyond measure. Okay, good. Awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. Well, this is this has been a really fun quest so far. I hope you guys are enjoying it as well. Of course, this time around we don't have any diary entries because we haven't been back home. A week hasn't passed yet, so no one's no one's been writing. Again, I feel like with these guys, it's really important to try and take one out, and that does kill one of them. Unfortunately, not quite how I wanted it to, but. It does kill one. Whoa! We healed for 12. Not that it matters. He's at full health. But that's still unexpected. There's a kill and a crit. We get that going on. We probably want to do a big AoE heal coming up next, I think. Okay. There's that horror coming in again. Yeah, we'll go for a big AoE heal here. Um, yeah, we're just going to have to go for the kill here, I think. Nice one, Linus. This is going to hurt. Big AoE heal coming in here from Amorous, I think. So we go with this here. 
There we go. A full party heal for 10. It puts on a lot of bleed on us, but the thing is we can get rid of that with Lucas relatively easily. So it doesn't matter when two people have bleed. It really doesn't matter. Uh, we can finish you off pretty easily. Um, and then, yeah, if we just do this, gets rid of bleed with a pretty high chance, especially with our trinkets here. Um, I think it's... One minute. I think it's this one here. Um, yeah. With every friendly skill, we buff our chance to cure by 5%. So at the minute, it's up to an extra 20%. So 75% chance to cure whenever we use that, which is very, very valuable. Okay, so here we can't really do much. So we're just going to uh, lower your speed and dodge. Apparently, when you lower speed and dodge, it doesn't apply until next round. So we may see that we still miss attacks. Um, or so sorry, that he... he um, we still, uh, he still manages to dodge or he still goes first, but that's because it doesn't apply until the next turn. We are going to have a little trouble hitting him until we get round to Linus again here, but I think if we just do this and try and take out some of the bodies, we shouldn't have too hard of a time. And we, he's got that bleed in him as well, which helps. Uh, I think we just do that, don't we? That fatal jump does so much damage. Wow. Good way of getting healing that. Even if we use it on a bleeding body, it still does a, a good job. This should pretty much end your life. Finish you all off here. We probably should have healed ourselves up there, actually. In fact, if given the opportunity, I probably will do that. Okay. Maybe not. Unfortunately, that ended combat there. Even more blood. Great. That did end combat there, and we are a little... A little light on HP. It's actually really bad how low his HP gets. Like... 27 HP is abysmal amounts. Like, a single crit puts him on death's door by most enemies in here. Okay, so we found, we found our first dead end this way, which is a shame. Um, like I said, I, I'd love to see some sort of uh, fast travel system within this, just so we can a bit more easily move around. Uh, we probably want to be doing our first camping session relatively soon. Um, I, I kind of want to... Do, do you know what? We'll, uh, we'll do this. We're getting a little low on torches, but... That's okay. Just to make sure we don't have to do in much stress healing. I think even though Lucas is such an amazing stress healer, avoiding stress healing is important at all costs because with that... Okay, we can finally do this. Uh, with that, it essentially means that we can um, focus entirely on healing and getting his repair stuff, which I think is quite a bit more important, actually. Still not going to give blood to this guy, even though he gives trinkets. Simply because we don't have the room to carry the trinkets, even if he gives us a good one. It would it would take quite a lot of deliberation for me to figure out what trinket, uh, what um, inventory slot that I want to throw away in order to get that. Not going to do that. We need our shovels. Even though even though we could possibly get more blood or uh, another firewood. Okay, nice. Um, can we kill? We can't kill. If we can't kill, I think it's more important to activate repost. It helps us out and it gives us that block. This here sets up nicely. I think this is going to be a full repost build. We give just give repost on everyone. Um, there we go. Really going for the damage more than the uh, the debuffs here. That's one of them done. Um, I think we're going to go for this again. Uh, sorry, this. And then we really need Lucas to get a heal out there, and like, now. <sighs> Please, no. Oh, thank God. The, the, the dodge there was very important. Thank you. A little bit of Blight coming in. Actually, no Blight. Minus 50 dodge, though. <laughs> you go down. Nice crit. Don't need... We never need the healing of Victoria. Victoria never, even when she's marked, never gets hit. Uh, right. So he's going to move around a little bit. That's fine. Hmm. I think we do this. Ah, I was really hoping it'd kill this front guy. It didn't. It didn't even bleed him. That didn't really work out. Thirst here coming in. He's going to change over. We really, really need to get healing up on uh, Linus here. It's very important. No crits, though. Sedated. Amaris is fucking useless in that position. That's annoying. Oh, no repose set up either because of that. A big heal that we needed, we couldn't get done. Nice cure. Sedated. Okay. Take you out. Oh, that's a huge hit there, Victoria. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. And this one's going down as well. Okay, that worked out fine. That was good. Okay. Sorry, money. 
creatures can be felled. So we've got a bit more beaten. scouting here. I guess we just go dead up the center. We do have um, a blockage here. That's another stress heal. We don't need it right now. Oh, no, this is a torch. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Another locked gate. Okay, so we found our second locked gate. Sad thing about the locked gate is... Um, we can... Okay, we've got two people craving. Now we're going to have to deal with that. We're going to have to deal with that. Yeah, sad thing about the uh, lock gates is you have to walk backwards and you, you take on a lot more stress walking backwards. As you can see, instead of one tick, you take seven. Um, but I guess we just have to go around. Let's try that. So yeah, locked gates. We can either find the locks from in various positions or we can just go around them. I feel like going around them is more often a, the better choice because it means we don't have to use an inventory slot. Take you out. I was hoping for a one hit there, but luckily this is kind of a one hit. Having these two in, um, in Bloodlust does mean they're going to disobey us. Of course you dodge, don't you? Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. Okay. Um... I think I'm gonna heal myself up here. I think it's a little more important. We're, we're a little little ways down in the HP department. Then Linus can get the next heal. Nice hit. This guy's going down. Gather the blood. Yes. Lovely dodge. I'm, I'm gonna do a full heal here. I want everyone topped up before we go into a next fight. Lowers your stress as well, and then there you go. That worked out just fine. And there you go. There's the busts and th things that we're using. So too will resistance. No blood for you. Okay, food food is still going strong. We still, we brought a lot of food with us, so we should be fine. Still another dead end here. And we've got another fight. It's really annoying when you go through a hallway and then go back through and a fight spawns. It's like, for God's sake, if I hadn't have gone this way, I wouldn't have to deal with that. Oh, it's a bad one as well. It's a really bad one. Okay, surprise, that helps out so much, right? We need to get as much damage as possible on this guy. So, I mean, a crit there is insanely strong. Um, do you know what? That's exactly what I was going to use, so thank you. That's exactly what I was going to use. Okay, you're going with the repurst, I think. I think that's more important right now. Right now. Repurst heals to make sure everyone's topped up. And, right, uh... What's going to be better here? So you got a bit of prot. This guy's got a lot more prot. I think even with his high... Actually, he's not got that high debuff resist. I think we do that. Debuffive prot. Does a bit of damage. This guy's going to weaken prey. Yep. Knew it. But I think we can kill him before he manages to get his second hit on. And we resisted the debuff. Some horror coming in here. Again, we might want to stress heal as a prep for that. I think we will, actually. We've got plenty of time to do that. So we'll stress heal as a prep for that. Skull Toss, a lot more stress coming in and damage. Skull Toss is such a, such a horrible attack. Stress, massive damage, and stun. Like, what an evil attack. It does so much to hurt you. Um, we'll go for a big heal on you. Crit for 30, that's great. We didn't take on the Blight or Bleed, which is awesome. Okay, um, I'm still going to go for the stress heals, I think, here. Or not. Or not. That's okay. We keep we keep our repurst up. I suppose that's fine. We can't attack him, so let's get a repurst going. At least then if we get hit, we do a bit of extra damage. And you can lower your prot again. Your prot is gone. Dun 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 Right. That was very out of character for the Darkest Dungeon series, but okay. God damn, leave him alone! No, the crit does Oh my fuck! You stunned him as well. What the hell? I think crits are guaranteed stuns anyways, but that was evil. Do do not. Do not dare do a random move. Thank God. We need the healing so bad. Look at that. 67 stress. That's insane. Okay, we'll go for... Another one of these. We did take on the Blight and Bleed. It's, it's okay. Fucking leave him alone. Oh my God. <laughs> Fuck you. Holy hell. Leave my boy alone. That was evil. Just absolutely bullying him. We need this. So bad. 
We've, we're, we're very low on torches now, though. Which is, a, I think once we get to, like, five torches, we're going to have to stop using them, because we, we might need them to get through the mist. No kill, unfortunately. It's a very low damage for a hit. But that's a kill, and a double crit as well. Awesome. Nice kill. Probably should have tried to kill this guy instead, but that's okay. Okay, it's, it's crazy how quickly we can wipe stress off of people in this area, but even still, it's... I, I swear, do they know that Linus has the has the least maximum HP? Is that like a feature where they know certain characters have different maximum HPs? Because everyone, literally everyone, is constantly going after Linus. It's like, goddamn, just leave him be. Really? Zero? Oh, okay, one of them did zero, the other one didn't. Nice. And a stun there. We're getting stuns quite a, quite a lot at the minute. A little bit of a shame. A little bit of a shame. Right, um... I think we just do this. Even though it doesn't do much damage, it's enough. And you should be dead. Nice. Okay. Good. We're, we're keeping we're keeping pushing on pretty pretty nicely here. The only thing I literally the only thing that I'm really really worried about is um, the the problem of if we run out of blood, which is definitely a very real possibility. Not the wrong way again. God damn it! Three pronged way and it all the wrong way. All of them the wrong way. What a shame. Okay, especially when we're getting, like, three people going in at once. And the thing is, this is another problem with back-traveling. We're doing so much back-traveling that this doesn't really work that well. Because everyone's going to enter craving at the same time, just because we're walking around so much. And we're not looting things, so we're not going to get enough blood. Really should have brought more. It's very scary right now. But like I said, we're going to have to dip if we run out completely. We're just going to have to. There's no, there's no way around it. Right. Keep going. Down to this one. Stress relief there. That's 30. We might as well do it with this guy. Pretty much puts us back down to where we should be. Okay, let's hope that this way is the right way this time. Okay, we got scouting. That's good. That that that's that bird's well. Probably gonna get a few battles around here. Another one of those guys. Okay, everyone's back to normal with blood. Kill it. Nice. Getting an insta kill is so valuable. Oh, I didn't know you could guard. Interesting. It, that does increase his prop, but we can we can deal with that relatively easily, I think. Oh, that's not prop. Damn it. I did the wrong one. It's okay. It's okay. Still did good damage. Activated repose, nonetheless. Getting rid of that body is fantastic for Victoria here. She can get a really chunky hit going on. Um, I'm going to heal myself up. Oops, my prop to buy a ton. Okay. Yeah, 19 crit. Lovely. Fortunately, we don't need the heal, but it works out. And for one, I've, I've not really been using motivational hypnosis all that much, to be honest. I might want to swap that out. I guess we just go for this. Let's let's have a look at his other skills, because we, we really don't use motivational hypnosis all that much, even though it is really good. Uh, I just, I don't feel think it really fits as well as I'm thinking it would. So instead of motivational hypnosis, hmm... I don't know. The the only other skills we could go for... I mean, we have first aid here. We could go with first aid. Which is... Pretty good for curing... Bleed. Pretty good for curing horror. And it's a single target heal. I don't know. I don't think it's really worth it. I think motivational hypnosis, although we're, we're using it less often, when we need it, it'll come in, it'll come in handy. Also, it does buff crit as well. Like, I should be using it more because it buffs crit so much. This time, let's open with it. Nice kill. Just 
to get that crit on everyone. Um, I think I can kill you in one. Damn it, I thought I'd be able to kill you in one. Obviously not. Ah, oh, he's got the prop from protecting. Makes sense. Mind your mind. It's okay. Um, again, I'm going to go with this. Just to heal myself up to full. Okay, the first coming in. Still, Victoria is the only one to not have it. The one person I kind of want to have it because she gets bonuses when she has it still doesn't have the curse. Okay, nice hit. Nice bleed. And I think we can finish you off. Oh, no. Damn. Th these prop buffs are really hurting us. Thought I'd be able to kill there. I think, think we get the kill with the bleed, yeah. And that lowers the prot, good. Let's we'll go for the damage here. Get you killed as quickly as we can. Thirst coming in again. Almost killed you, but you healed up. But you're stunned. There's that counter stun. Coming into play for the first time ever. And it's in the time that it literally didn't matter. Okay. So we're starting to find the way around now. Here's where we need our shovels. That's why I want to keep them. Plenty of those could still come up. We're, st we're still not even close, I don't think. I think we're only about halfway there. Into room battle. Scoutings are really helping. Some stress relief there. Interesting. Okay, good to know that we can use those without um, holy water to get... Holy water... <laughs> Okay, we need to get some insta-kills here. It definitely seems like the this trinket is working, because we always go first with Victoria, and that means that four speed is applying, I'm pretty sure. Okay, unfortunately, you get to go. Maddening Wine, though, that's better. I'm fine with Maddening Wine. Hypnosis, get that crit going. Lower our own stress. Linus might be able to get us a kill here. Uh, Repost here, I think. Come on, Linus. Um, try and break your prop. Didn't kill you, unfortunately. Really hoping that would be a kill. But I think our dog bite next turn will get what we need done. Plus 20 prop. He just, his prop just keeps climbing, climbing with every hit. 30 prop. His, his maximum HP really doesn't matter because he can just prop through all of it. Yo, you're dead, good. He just keeps getting hit as well. They just keep stacking his prot higher and higher. Um, even though we don't need it for everyone else, I'm going to do a party heal for myself. I was going to use the doggy, but I think that's better. Still, no curse. Victoria stays strong. That got the kill and a crit on you as well with the bleed. That's a good bleed. Victoria is going to absolutely destroy you now. Okay. You, you've hit Victoria with the thirst. 16. You're, don't worry, though. You're going to get slapped in one hit, I think. I think Victoria can do it. With plus 10 crit, we've got a good chance of getting an insta-kill here. There you go. We didn't even need the crit. We just got it anyways. Oh, unfortunate dodge there. Unfortunate dodge. Let's just keep doing that. Okay, that crit's gone down to five again with one round remaining. The first coming in on Linus. Good dodge. Okay, we have to go for this nice crit on the dogs there. That helps out a hell of a lot. Okay, unfortunate miss again. I might... I'm thinking... I might, um, that's an interesting trinket that I'm not going to take. Ooh, we're up to another stack of 10k gold. Another stack of 10k gold. Do we throw anything away for another stack of gold? I mean, we really probably should, but I don't know what. I really want to get rid of the anti-venom. Let me just check something. Let me go and see. Um, Darkest Dungeon... Baron. I want to see if the Baron does any sort of blight. I know there's one monster that has been blighting us. There's, there's one enemy around here. But if the if the Baron doesn't have any sort of blight, 
uh, then we might be okay. Uh, Barrett is interested in the boss fight, relying on massive heal health pool and a few new tricks. One of the tricks is that you cannot heal while there's at least one insect pod. Ooh, that's kind of scary. Uh... Hmm. It doesn't look like it. Um, uh, abilities. Here we go. Uh, we've got bleed. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't look like there's any. There's any uh, blight at all. Let's get rid of it. Let's let's do it. I'm gonna I'm gonna come to regret that probably. But I don't know. I feel like we're stacking up the money and stuff and we're not we've not used any of the blights blight heals yet, so it's probably a good idea. Right, on the mentor. We're 35 minutes in already, my god. We've still not come to the next area yet. Okay, next fight, this is a pretty easy fight. And we got the surprise as well, lovely. Insta kill on you. You're not getting anything off on us. No healing for you. We'll go for that there. I think this might be one where we just activate repose on everyone. There you go. I do love that. Oh, of course you hit the one person that we didn't activate repose on. Damn it. Okay, she's taking some hits, but if we can get a crit with her, then we get a health back. We didn't, unfortunately, but that's okay. We'll go for a heal with Amaris here. There we go. Don't want to kill her yet, because I want to get a heal with uh, Lucas. Oh, okay, that's not too bad, actually. I probably did want to heal her now that she's done that, actually. <laughs> Uh, want to heal that bleed off, so we'll just do that. Pretty much guarantees curing the bleed. I've not, I've not seen it fail yet. Got the bleed on her as well. We'll set this up just so. Oh my god, big crit! Uh, just so hopefully she attacks us with this high pro. She might attack Victoria though, because she's marked as well. Um, I think we can just hit her here. There you go. Oh. Of course we get a tapestry now. 4,500. Why do you do this to me, game? 4,500. Can we really leave that? We've not used any skeleton keys yet either. But it could mean that we're losing a lot of loot in the future. Um. Again, let me do some research. Right. Darkest Dungeon. Caught. Courtyard Curious. Uh, let's have a little look see. So there's the enemies. Curious. So uh, there isn't any curious that require keys. Cool. We have gathered a lot of money thus far. <laughs> Quite a lot of money. Okay. We're starting to get low on blood. It's a bit scary considering I know that Amaris is very, very near to uh, to getting hungry as well. It's going to be very shortly, so we're going to be on like three blood. It's likely we're going to have to leave soon, which is unfortunate. But we can. Go I'm probably going to go straight back out with this party. This is a kind of hard fight. Um... I think I'm going to do this. It gets some mark on and it does some good stuff in terms of taking down their health. And we'll go for just a kill on you. Guarantees. And then Linus, you can get a kill on this guy. Maybe. You've got the prot on him now, though, so maybe not. We'll see how much your attacks can do. There's that horror coming out. Don't worry, everyone's stress is fine right now. So, how much can you do? You're craving now as well. Balls. Balls, balls, balls. Please say the game knows that I need it really badly. Right, uh, so... We can kill this guy. Yeah, good, we did. Get Takes off, takes off that prop. 
Oh, really? You're craving now as well? This is bad. We are pretty much out of blood. I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. Nice dodge, guys. Um, I think I'll just do the stress relief because we've all got horror. I'd rather get that down a little bit. Nice crit. Bit of stress healing there as well. Then Linus, you can take out this guy. Let's take off that prop. Do the armor piercing attack first. And do this again. Nice crit. Even more stress healing. And this should be pretty much done, sir. So you hit him for quite a, quite a lot. I'd actually like Linus to get that healed off of you before we end the combat here. Nice. We got the chance to as well. Please heal it off. Yes. It's gone. Okay, now we're good to kill you. Or not. Uh, damn, we're not going to be able to kill you. Unless Linus gets to go first. Oh, he did. Nice. Good, good. Oh, yes. We got two blood. Key of Reflection Blue. Um, the way it unlocks when you consider your weakness, not your strength. So that's one of the keys that we probably need. But what the hell do we throw away? Like, at this point, really, what do we throw away? Oh, it's so difficult. Do I get rid of... <sighs> I could get rid of Holy Water. Let's, let's just take a little look. So... Holy water is only used on the damned fountains and the blood flowers, uh, but it's only used for stress relief. But then again, at the same time, we can up our resistances using this, and that that could be very, very valuable. Uh, I'm gonna do it anyways. I'm gonna do it. <sighs> My God. Also, could we like go the right way, please? So this should unlock this door. Although that's a yellow lock, maybe we need the yellow key for that. I don't exactly know how the how the uh, the locked doors work. It's it's a whole new thing for me. Whole new thing. Got another one of these. Can't I can't spare any more torches. There's a chance that I'll need them. Okay, just a fight here. Um, we go for that. Damn! It's always annoying when we don't get the kill there. We're gonna get the kill. We need it. <laughs> Did good damage there anyways and set up a repose, so I can't complain. What's this? Ah, oh, it's this one. It buffs everyone. This is bad. It buffs everyone. Please don't do anything horrible. Um I think we do that. We need everyone dying as quickly as possible, so getting some AoE damage in here could be good. Of course we get some blight on us. Nowhere to heal it off. Oh, really? Okay, this is fucked. These guys have such insane damage now. Okay, that didn't stack. Okay, it doesn't matter. That didn't stack. <laughs> I was really expecting that to stack. And it just didn't. Nice. Perfection. A third's coming on Linus. I forgot that Linus still has Death Door recovery as well. Hey, he just stress healed himself. Awesome. Oh, that didn't kill you. I didn't realize that you'd healed up so much. Nice hit. Victoria. Thank you, thank you. More blood. Great. Scouting. Okay. This could be this could be somewhat the right way. Somewhat the right way. That was not part of the right way. I might just have to go and uh, use my key on that door, or attempt to use my key on that door. That's the problem. If I go all the way back that way and it's not the right way, I'm going to feel like a dick because I've walked so far. Um, curious as a trap maker's that. Don't need the stress relief right now. Passive? What does that mean? Oh, it just means it's over. Okay, so it might have to be that way then because none of this was the right way. Okay, two of you are passive now. Let's keep pushing forward. 
Let's keep on pushing forward. We'll go back to that locked door. We'll check that out. See if this key is going to be what we need to get through there. You're passive as well. Okay, we've got three on passive now. That's both good and bad. I'd rather they stay bloodlust for longer so we know that we don't need blood for them. Getting a lot of hunger checks. Our food's slowly but surely getting low. But we're, we're, st we're still got enough. Hunger checks can be quite far between sometimes. So Earlier the way I'm thinking is if we go up this way. But I don't know. It seems like we're going back on ourselves if we go that way. There was a locked door above us as well. A lock gate. Okay, that one doesn't work. So this the other lock gate was there, wasn't it? We'll try that out, I guess. Because that one we know the colour of on the minimap. The other one we don't know the colour of. Because we didn't scout it. So it's possible that that one's the blue key. We'll probably end up getting another few fights as we as we make our way along here. We're travelling through hallways we've already been through, which means it's likely that we'll spawn a few more battles. This also means that we're going to be likely to do exactly what just happened there and get a few more people bloodlusting because we're walking around so much. Shall I go for this? Oh, it's so risky. It's so risky, but we we do kind of need to. If we, It'd be great if we had Victoria's skills unlocked. I really should have looked at this before because this produces blood and we can use it three times. We could produce three blood in one camping session, which is really good. Yeah, I, I really should have looked at our camping skills before we went here. I didn't even think about it. I never really think about camping skills, to be honest. Right, you're craving as well. Blood's getting low. Here it is. We're through. And there's the crocodile. Right, I think this is a uh, activate report on everyone sort of turn. Actually, no. I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure that we have healing ready. I think having healing ready and prepared is better. Even if the report does do good damage. Oh, that was exactly what I was going to do, so again, thank you for that. Lurking fear. Linus is going to be uh, lowering his prop. Although he does have high debuff resist, so that's not always going to work. Right, now we can do this nice crit. <sighs> Fighting the croc is definitely scary. Um, we're going to be doing a lot of preparing repose to get that block off hopefully the mark i'm not gonna mark anyone else ah oh, that's terrible that's not good pulling you forward there is not good slow your dodge okay teeth rick teeth rick is really what fucks us over this fight victoria can't do anything from back there and that's like a huge problem for us um I think we just do this. Still got a bit of bleeding us there, but that's not a problem. It's only a tiny amount. I know I didn't want to mark anyone else, but I felt like in that situation, it was specifically, it was quite necessary. Another crit there. Great. Keeps our repose up as well. Heal everyone up. Victoria's the only one that's really in a terrible position here, but she can keep activating more and more blocks. Although it seems you can only have two. Which is a shame. That heal is a problem. While he's in these positions, it's just so difficult for us to do things. Uh, what's his bleed resist? Bleed resist is pretty high. Oh, damn, the debuff resist. So high. Apex there coming out. We should be able to deal with that. Of course, you crit on the wrong person. I mean, nonetheless, it's pretty good. I think we, I think we move these around now, don't we? Uh... Nice. Keep our repose going. Minus that dodge and speed by a huge amount. That hurts. Victoria just moved into the right position. And she's going to have her turn very shortly. Could you just not? Oh, I need you to resist both of those, dude. Come on now. Teeth rake. That hurt, but the repose is good. Right, we need to cure. We need to cure everyone here. Everyone had bleed on them there, so... We had to get it off of everyone. This is so annoying because... Oh, 
it's just, he's, he's completely fucking done us in here. Because we're going to have to move everyone about. We're going to have to basically take a turn to just move everyone about. Luckily, we have the opportunity to do so, but it's still very annoying. Okay, we're in okay positions now. Not great. Fucking... I just moved everyone. I just moved everyone. Could you just not? <laughs> Please. Now Amaris and Victoria can't do anything. This is so infuriating. It just... We're, we're going to end up losing Linus if, the, if this doesn't stop. We can't, we can't get any damage on him because Victoria's never in position. And again, Victoria's out of position. We just, we, we physically cannot hit him for high damage while Victoria's out of position. It doesn't work. But at the same time, we need to keep our healing up. So I just, I don't really know what we do. And the thing is, he's, he won't hit Victoria and she has such a powerful repose, but he, he just refuses to hit her. Nice, that's good. There's that debuff as well. Good, good. Submerge. We really need a big heal on uh, Linus here. That's good. Only took on the bleed there as well. Of course, he crits on Apex. Fucking hell. And mm, this is bad. That heal just isn't enough. It just isn't enough. Okay, good. It's just, it's so annoying. He's going to do it again as soon as I move her. Okay, there's that repost hitting. That's nice. Stress is getting pretty high. Prot's down again. Good. Okay. As much as stress is a problem here, I think we keep healing. Make sure people don't die. Stress we can deal with. There's the big hits we're looking for. Heal ourselves up here. I basically want to keep everyone high enough so that we could do some stress relieving. That's the kind of the goal. Please. Can you not can you not go for the person that's marked? Why do enemies ignore marked so much? Did not want to do that at all. Why can't I even target that? That's so annoying. And of course she didn't have her post set up there, but at least that brings us to the front. Um I think I think we do this. Submerge again. And then we heal you up with Amorous. And of course you dodge it. Oh my god, of course you dodge it. What the hell was that? Right, it's time. You used the wrong thing because you're craving, you fucker. Bloodlusting shitbag. What sort of damage can we do with this? It's 8 to 17. I think we just go for that. Move you back one. Okay. Oh my god. A momentary abatement. We need this. Amorous, please don't use the wrong move again. You know, teeth break. That's not too bad. Okay, we need to use this. For that huge stress relief and huge heal. That's great. Okay, that set us up really nicely. Teeth raking Linus is probably the worst thing he can do. Because that sets up these two in really bad spots. So I think I think we just take the turn to move. I I'm going to use that. You're craving, so let's give you some blood. Nineteen, that's huge. Moving him back, though, out of Victoria's range. Hmm. Um, because we can't heal, I think we take the time take the time to move forward. Tactic bit repose here because we can't hit. Amorous, you need to give us a big heal here. Hit for zero on a repost, really. Nice, another thirteen damage there. Moves him back even more. It's kind of good that it moves him back, but it's kind of bad. But it stops him from doing apex predator at least. Okay, we're all out of our heals here. We just gotta go for this. So, 
Unfortunately, Lana's in a bad position here. Submerge. That's not too problematic. It's mainly the dodge that's problematic with that. What are you going to do? The only thing you can do. Okay, that was good. This isn't too bad. Seven damage isn't much. Activate repose, get another block going. Stop apexing on L Lucas. God damn. So annoying. Keep targeting the person I really don't want you to target. You're pretty low though. Teeth rake, not bad on you, especially with that repost. Good. Should be able to get a big hit coming in here. There we go. He's down to 20 HP. He's bleeding. Teeth rake on Linus. Oh my god. As I said, problematic. That's a bit more than problematic. That's actually even more than problematic because Lucas can't heal him from there. Arm break. Is it 6 HP? All we need is one good hit. Of course, you can't do anything. Oh, this is just scary. Come on, do not miss. Yes, we got it. We got it. Oh. Tough stuff. The Oceanborn. Um, very interesting. Tidal Slam does bleed. Bleed chance and... Okay, so it changes Tidal Slam from stun to bleed. Interesting. Oh, we need the key. God damn it. We need the key, don't we? I'm going to get rid of the busts. There's only nine of them. Right. Now we've got to go down here. Oh my god. This has been a journey. This has been a journey. I'm just... all. The only thing I'm worried about now is that our, the amount of blood we have left. We just don't really have enough blood left to make this, to make this work the way we want it to. But we'll go over to here and we'll end the episode. Still haven't needed to camp yet, which is just incredible, to be honest. Just incredible. Bloodlust, okay. As long as you're not craving. Whew, we could leave them until they're wasting, I suppose, if we're if we're feeling risky, but that's 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 the time at which they could die, so. Right. See, up again. This could be another croc, by the way. I'm very aware that this could be another croc. Um, and we only have two blood. Oh, this is bad. Guess we're going through. Okay, it's not. Thank God. Oh, holy hell. Really expecting that to be another croc. Right, we've got to do some big stress healing here. Finish you off. Just beautiful. Awesome. Get that stress down. Mind your manners. Rib cracker. Oh, I've not seen that before. Interesting. Pushes us back a little bit. Not great for Linus. Uh, uh, Linus, no, Lucas. Two very similar names. It's very confusing. Nice. Oh, huge hit there, Linus. Huge hit. Of course you can't do that from here. I'm going to just push forward with Victoria here. Get Linus into position to do some more healing. Okay, dodge. This shouldn't affect us all too much. Lows our accuracy a lot as well. Okay, I need to get Linus' stress down. Even though everyone else's stress is pretty low now. Get that going, I guess. Eleven across the board. One more of those, and I think we can end the fight. Okay. 
good. Oh my god. I'll give you a shot there. Okay, you're in craving as well. And then we'll go with... This, there you go. And there you go. I'm actually going to leave here uh, in, terms of, in terms of, like, go back home. Just because we're running out of blood. Um, and I feel like we, we don't need the firewood. Like, it's nice to have it, but we don't need it. So, let's regroup back at the hamlet. Are you sure you want to retreat? The heroes will suffer a stress of defeat. Yeah. We'll come back to the hamlet. Lessons to be learned. Really? We didn't get any resolve there? Alright. Calming toxins minus 25 cents stress. That's not good. Um, that's not good. Um, oh, that's pretty good. Disease resist. Right, yeah. I, w I wanted to make more inventory space. And also, as much as the firewood is good, I think we should regroup and try again with the next one. We've got quite far so far here. Um, let's see. How much money did we make there? We made quite a lot. Um, oh, my God. Look at... 111 portraits, holy hell. Uh, yeah, we made, we made quite a lot of money there. I think we'll leave everyone sort of as they are. We'll sort of retrink it and stuff as we go here. Um, we have a level 4 snake charmer. I think I, I think that snake charmer is already level 4. Let's just check here. Okay, we're, we're good on that front. We do have a level 4 David, but there's a storyline incoming with David, so we're not going to take that yet. There's some there's something that's gonna happen with David, so I'll leave that before that for that to happen. Um what's this? Plus fifteen stress on attack back one if in position one. Friendly scale forward one. Oh, that's very strange, but interesting. Um See it only, that's pretty good though. Okay, so we probably want to change over a few trinkets on this group. I'm probably going to take that group out again. That group's really good for this. I'm liking them a, a lot and a lot, so I'll probably take these guys out again. Um, yeah, like, we, we went from, I think it was like 11... It was somewhat, somewhat like 11,000, I think, to 45,000 there. That was a really good amount of money. Because I, I, spent, I spent quite a lot of it upgrading people before we left, so... That, that worked out really nicely. So let's let's just have a look at trinkets. So I definitely think we can take a f switch a few of these around before we leave off this episode. Um, first of all, let's get rid of... We don't want that on. That's not been super useful. These two are fine. These two are fine. And we can get rid of that, I think. Uh, so I think Linus should take either something that ups his maximum HP or... We could go with, like, the Slime Jar. I know the Slime Jar does lower maximum HP, but it could be pretty good. Uh, so, first of all, what would Victoria most benefit from? I mean, more damage would really help with Victoria. Um, that would also help as well. Extra pro and on kill. Uh, do some stress relief, although we haven't really needed stress relief all too much with that. So, let's go with... Um, let's have a look. We could go with something like that. Plus 30 stress is quite a lot. Plus 30 stress is, is very, very high. Uh, let's have a little look around. We could go with a flat, like, minus 20% stress. We could go with maximum HP and prop. That's good. Move skill and accuracy. Uh, I think I might actually put that on Linus, you know. Extra accuracy is great and move skill is pretty good. Uh, bleed chance, debuff skill chance is good. That could also be really good on Linus too. Although minus 10 healing received isn't great. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have anything that does extra damage versus bloodsuckers. So that's not great. We could go with the extra scouting chance. Um, that's good. There's a lot of good things here. A lot of good things. Plus 20 maximum HP. I kind of want to put that on Linus as well. There's a lot of things I want to put on Linus here. Uh, this is very difficult to decide. Very difficult to decide. Plus 25 prop minus debuff resist. Uh, I'm trying to think how bad would debuffs be for Victoria here, but 25 prop would mean she's very, very hard to take down. 
which would be very nice. Uh, or we could go with something like one of these. Um, extra accuracy, accuracy and speed after the first round. That could be nice. There's just there's so many good options. So many good options. Very hard to pick something that's going to be worthwhile. I can't believe how bad that is. I might sell that. It's really terrible. Maximum HP and prop is really good. I kind of want flat damage. Uh, but, like, flat damage for minus 5 crit isn't really what I want. That could be pretty good. Extra damage and crit when in uh, in rooms. But we, we do do a lot of hallway fighting as well, though. So maybe not. Ten accuracy and crit is stresses below twenty six. Hmm, that's also very good. Oh, you, you know what? I'm gonna go for that. The, the the minus two speed is bad, but it's counteracted by this. But it's the plus forty move resist that I want. Hair not being able to be moved is awesome, so we'll go with that. And the prot is really nice too. Uh, and then on Linus, what do we want on Linus? There's quite a few things we go for here. Speed and dodge is good. Prot's nice, but we don't want him to have low move resist. I might just straight up buff his um, maximum HP. Or we could go with Prot on him as well. Hmm. It's all very difficult to decide. You've got to remember that he's already taking a bit more stress from this. Something that would just flat upgrade his damage would be great. Plus 8 speed first round, plus 12 crit first round. That could be really good. I mean, we don't need him to have high speed. Um, it basically means he'd always go first and he'd almost always get a kill. Which could be incredible. It just means for the boss fight, it's not really very useful. We need something that's going to be useful throughout and especially useful on boss fight. Uh... What would that up his maximum HP to? 33. That's not that much though, is it really? Is it really worth it? I think that's worth it for now. Either way, let's leave it at that. I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. We'll be jumping back into that quest uh, soon enough. Let's just go on and back and check did the rewards change. They didn't. Okay, cool. Right, we'll go back in there soon. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.